Okay, hello everyone, this is Tim. Uh, today we're going to try something very, very interesting. Um, I'll be surprised <laughs> if this works. Um, but I, um, basically it's dumplings. This, this style is Russian. I've been to Russia a couple of times and one of the first things, well, I've known about it, but so one of the first things I tried was um, their dumplings and I loved it. So the couple of times I've been there, or you know, anytime I go there, I'll, I'll order dumplings. Um, I just went to uh, Mo Moscow. Went to Moscow. Went to Saint Petersburg, and I had dumplings when I went and traveled there. And then on my uh, my last visit there, it was just a stop. I was on my way to Croatia, and I went through Moscow. So I had dumplings at the airport. So like I said, I really like it. It's real tasty. Um, it is time consuming. Basically, after you um, cut out the dough, um, roll the dough, cut it out, cut out the shapes of um, round um, dough um, to form your, um, they call it palimini. I think I'm saying that right. Uh, and then you, you know, after you, you have your ground meat and you put your ground meat in the, um, in the center and then you kind of fold the dough over and kind of pinch it. So you know the meat doesn't come out, um, and now that did, that's that's what really I think really takes the time. But we'll see. I'm you know I'm doing this for the first time. We'll just have to try it and you know go for it and see how this works out. So I have over here. I have my machine. Whoa. Um, and that's ready to go. I'm gonna just go ahead and, and mince the meat in here. Uh, Cause yeah, you, you know you got to put it uh, mince it together. And what I have is I have uh, I'm gonna use and I, another thing too. We are, I, I looked online and everybody's doing this different, <laughs> so I, I'm I'm feeling it a little bit better that I can just do it. I kind of do it the way I want to do it, and hopefully it works out. But uh, everybody does this different. Uh, I'm gonna use beef. I'm going to use beef, pork, um, onions, you have an egg, you have about uh, three to four cups of flour, and you have water. Um, for seasoning, I have sea salt, garlic powder, um, parsley is for later, that's last, um, and pepper. This is about a pound of beef and a pound of pork, or beef and pork, which is about uh, 400 and 454 grams. Okay, so let's let's see. Well, first, we're gonna do the meat. Put it all together: the um, the beef, the pork, and the onions. Get that all grounded up, and then we'll work on the dough. Okay, so we'll see how this works. <laughs> okay, let me start my machine here. Let's see. Um, log this, and then start this up. I think we have to put it on four. That's three. That's four. Now, of course, I have to do this. I can't do this holding my camera. So let's put this down. Maybe I can put it together in a. In the container. That's okay. Yeah. And we'll just take a big chunk of it and get some onions and put it in there. it all down in there yeah. and it's coming all out okay the meats are ready 
I'm just gonna have to just clean this off and um, you know um, take this apart and set it up and um, get it ready for whatever else I decide to cook. So let me take care of that. Okay, so now for the fun part, um, we have our meat, grounded meat, and we have our flour and egg and water. Like I said, some some people do it different. Some people add milk. <laughs> so I don't know. You know, it's it is what, what how you ever want to how you however you like to prepare it, I guess. And um, and other people they. They do this uh, on the counter, but I'm going to use my mixing bowl. I put some butter and, you know, around the, the sides and the bottom, and then I just spread some um, flour around. That's so the dough won't stick. And then we're just going to go ahead and, <clears throat> and mix. Well, let's pour it in there first. We put the powder in. Powder, <laughs> the flour in. Um, and then you put in uh, one egg. So we'll do that. I know there's a way of doing it one handed. Oh, okay. And then uh, we slowly add, we add in the water while it's mixing. So we do, oh, well, I guess it would be nice to plug it in, huh? Okay. And we'll slowly add in our water. And the water, you put in the water, um, you know, depending on how, you know, little, you know, you have to decide on how much water you want to put in. Put in a little bit more. That might be enough water. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, I think that's enough. Okay. Let's try that. Um We'll wipe down our surface here. So, so I think we're going to take, let me see it, the same thing with your rolling pin. Put some powder on this too. Do I have some? They got powder all over the counter. We'll do this over here by the zinc. And what we'll do is we'll put we'll put some powder. Oops, some powder. I still say powder. Some flour on the counter. Put 
Okay. And we'll take the dough, let's see. Let me see. <laughs> it's all gluey. Um, let me see. It feels okay. I don't know. It's all sticky and gooey. Um, I do I get I think it's okay I think uh, I don't need to mix it anymore huh interesting okay so let's see maybe let's put it on the counter I wonder if I need, well, maybe do I need any more uh, flour? I think that's okay. Ooh. It's all gooey. Ooh. Okay. Ah. Let me get some uh, uh, plastic. Oof. <laughs> okay after a little cleanup <laughs> this stuff is really sticky um i wrapped the uh the flour the dough in a in um plastic plastic wrap we're gonna just set that aside uh and the meat's here so we'll we have to sit that aside about an hour or so and um and then we'll come back and then we'll start we'll continue Okay, I think we got it the way we want it. Let me see. It's not, you know, it's, it's, uh, <laughs> I guess it's just stiffer now. You know, before it was kind of sticky and real, I don't know. But now it's kind of, it's stiff. It holds together a little bit better. So I think that's what we want right there. You can, you, you know, you can't, you can't really tell by, of course the camera but you can feel it you can tell it's kind of stiff and I think that's the way we want it so we'll have that we'll set that aside the meat's ready so all we got to do I just put some uh, some seasoning in the meat 
and we'll just mix that up a little bit and then um, the meat will be ready to go so we'll just put this in the uh, we'll just set it aside wrap it up in some in some uh, plastic wrap and then we'll just set it aside okay we're back um, did a few you know made some a few adjustments the the dough was really sticky and um, I wouldn't say um, wet or anything just you know just just not as not as stiff as it should be I think so what I just did I just added some powder and um, it should be it's should be where it should be at right now <laughs> I'm thinking like I said I'm you know I'm, I'm just just testing this out I have no idea if I'm doing this right and then um, I mixed up the meat a little bit more so the meat's all nice and mixed up so let's spread this out and let me see what I want to do and um, then we'll start making, you know, making, um, cutting these out. I'm just using a regular glass because I don't, there's a, there's a, um, uh, you know, like a cookie cutter uh, molds and stuff. But, you know, they have certain molds that you can use to uh, make these, but I don't have that. So I'm just going to simply use a glass and cut out um, the, um, the flour and dough or dough I should say and then um, we'll start with we'll make them we'll start from there well you know you just put the meat in and then um, shape shape it into that um, half star shape <laughs> and um, we'll take it from there okay so we have our rolling pin here I put some uh, flour on it before, but I don't know. Maybe we need a little bit more. We're going to need some more on our dough also. And what we're going to do is just simply roll this out. I have some of the meat already, <laughs> already on here. Let's see. Maybe I put it too close to the stove. Uh, so hopefully this works out. Ooh, whoops. <laughs> Just roll it out, roll it out. I don't know how many of these we can make, but we don't need that. We don't really need that many, but, and if I have a meat left over, I'll just make pan uh, hamburgers. <laughs> okay. It needs to be real, on um, somewhat thin, so. I just hope it has the right texture. Because you need to be able to, you know, cut these out, keep a shape. It's supposed to be able to not fall apart when they're boiling. And that's, you know, that's how I'm going to fix mine. I'm going to just boil it. For I guess it's seven or seven or eight minutes, something like that. Getting too close to the stove. I guess I should have. Well, I don't know.
some of the flower is coming off. Into the counter. So I'm just rolling it, trying to get it, I don't know, I guess you have different varieties of it. Some of it maybe might be thicker, some of it might be thinner. I got it running up against the, let me move my, let me move this out of the way so I can flatten this, this over here by the, too close to the stove. take a look at it <laughs> from the sides so see if it's uh, flat enough oops don't want to do that keep rolling it on the Whew. I see the I see the videos the Russians well the people that are preparing some of those Americans too a lot of people have a different different videos whoops I think that might be thin enough. Let me see. Whoa. I'm like, come on now, don't mess <laughs> don't mess up now. I guess it's okay for a first time it's only me so it's not like I need a whole lot of these so. this is just a practice run <laughs> rolling off of the off of the counter so I think that's okay Let's see, um, let's do a test. <laughs> uh, let's see here, right here. It wants to stick to the counter. Okay, so now, let me see, I, I, this is why you need to put powder, make sure the powder is all over the... Ooh. Yeah, let me see, uh, maybe a spatula. Hmm. 
Now it's not going to keep its shape. Oh. I have to make sure, uh, well, I can't do much about it now. Let me see. Oof. You have to make sure you have the powder, I mean the flour, because it'll, you know, like you see, it's sticking. I don't know. Ugh. I just have to... Wherever I put it, it sticks. <laughs> uh, let me see. I'm going to have to figure out a way to keep it round. I want to make sure it keeps its shape. There you go. That's okay. Ooh. Uh, let me see. Let me get a get a tray get something to put <laughs> put these on um, and I'm gonna have to put some powder too. put some Let's see. I keep throwing the powder flour so so the uh, dough doesn't stick Whenever I get real good at this, <laughs> I don't know what to do. Next time, there's my other board. Don't turn on the burner. <laughs> Just sprinkle some flour on everything. That way, it won't, hopefully, it won't stick. And everything stays, uh, keeps its shape. go ahead and um, cut out all the circles let's see I'm just going to have a lot of 
of spaces here and there. Okay. Get rid of the excess It's still kind of sticky, so. But uh, it's good because I, well, I guess it's good because the. I didn't think I need a knife. Let me see. We can ball it all up and, and reuse it, maybe. Put it on the plastic. Need a little help. Because the glass isn't that sharp, so. Or the edge of the glass isn't that sharp. So it just needs a little help. <laughs> Go around all the the dough that's been cut. Try not to, you know, take up the the dough that's um, shaping the uh, the dough we're gonna use. We we'll put the excess dough over here, so we won't throw it away, throw it out. Just use it again. Okay, so let me see. Let me get my spatula. And I just want to get these things out of, off of the counter because the counter is sticky. I didn't put enough powder there. That's good. That's okay. I see there I go again calling it powder. <laughs> Enough flour um, on the on the on the countertop. I thought I did, I don't know, maybe. So they won't stick. Uh, okay. It's not too bad. get all of these well there's not that many maybe a dozen uh, 
a dozen and a half. So I have to do all of these. Let me stop the camera for a second because this is going to take a while and I want to spend a lot of camera time just doing this. Okay, all done. <laughs> Okay, everything's uh, done. I guess <laughs> done as best I can. I can make it. We're, um, it's America's Fourth of July coming up, and the people can buy fireworks, and so they start. I guess testing them a little early. <laughs> So, sorry about that, but that's something that we get here for some time now. Okay, so we put these right here. Put this one over here. And hopefully, we can keep the shape more or less, so... Kind of round. And hopefully the flower will keep it from sticking. I don't know, they look a little, I don't know, they look a little thick, I don't know. I guess that's okay. Maybe the, when they, when, uh, you know, you put them in the water and boil them, maybe they'll thin out a little bit. I don't know. Okay, so let's try it. Yeah, um, we just put, take a little bit of my uh, teaspoon. We'll grab some meat. And I have to make sure we've had the right amount of meat. You don't want to put too much meat because you want to be able to, whoop, maybe that might be too much. You want to be able to fold everything over. Like I say, you're going to have a lot of meat. <laughs> so you're going to have to, you know, depending on how, who, how many people are eating, you know, you're going to have to decide how much meat and then how much um, flour, you know, just how much ingredients you need. It's just me, so... I don't need I don't need all that much, but I'm just doing it for the first time, so but trust me, nothing's gonna go to waste. I'm just gonna fix what I can now and eat some of it and then uh, put the leftovers in the ice box and then have it for another day. Hope you know, not too not too long. I'm not gonna I don't wanna keep the food that long. And uh, like I said, though some of the like some of the meat, I probably would just uh, make a couple of hamburgers because <laughs> I don't need that much. And it looks like a lot at first, but it's okay. Or look like you have you just like when you first make it. Uh, the uh, I'm talking about the dough. Looks like it's. Looks like you want. It. Looks like uh, it's gonna. It's too much. But actually, I can. I can deal with this. This isn't too bad. And like I said, maybe tomorrow we'll have hamburgers. <laughs> oh, 
I was gonna. I brought some uh, some pizza, store bought pizza, and some wings. So I'm gonna have some wings, uh, pizza tomorrow. Okay, so let's try that. Let's see what happens. Um, this some of those might be too much. I don't know. Take a look at these. That's what it looks like now. <laughs> so let's see. We'll have some hamburgers tomorrow. <laughs> That's a lot of meat, so. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Come on, y'all, get up. There we go. I'm just gonna hold it in front of the camera. See the stuff it has to has to has to be sticky enough so the you know the the when you crimp the edges of the the dough it'll stay <laughs> and then you gotta let me see. So stick well maybe I put too much uh, powder. I mean put too much uh, um, flour. do all of these I'm gonna have to just do that do all of these the same way and uh, it's gonna take a while <laughs> Okay, we're back. <laughs> um, I put some water in uh, with a little, with just a little salt in the pot, and uh, so let that boil. And this is our pilamini. Um, uh oh, one of them came a loose right there. Um, but they look okay. They look like pilamini. <laughs> So we just all we do is put them in the pot. I'll cook well uh, maybe a half half of these at a time. You don't want them all in the pot, and then um, cook them for about I don't know anywhere between seven to ten minutes, um, and then take them out. And you know the toppings. I'm going to use some parsley, like a 
done in some of my other dishes. Um, and then uh, some sour cream. And that's it. So let's go ahead and do that. to uh, clean up as you go as they say so let me get my spoon with the holes in it <laughs> okay and I don't know if I should put it put the paw put it here or put it there maybe you should put it here I don't know Just medium heat sounds sounds good. You just want them to boil, and you're gonna put them in here, like I said, for about seven to ten minutes or so. It says everyone does it differently. So let me pinch this one right quick. Let me pinch this one back closed, or not closed, but together. Or try to pinch it. Everybody's all mushed up together. sticky <laughs> that's why you have to put flour on there almost everything so it won't stick let me get this one out I'm trying to get this one out so I can pinch the Pilemini, 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 Pilemini. I guess it, well, a little thick is well. I don't know. It, some, if I I can smooth these out, so it's not too bad. Pilemini. You just pinch the edges. And you put these in, wow. You drop these in. Let me. Hopefully they won't, they won't cook together. <laughs> Just drop them all in and it's stick, sticking to the tray. Sticking together. Let's see. So let's see, it's 9 12 now. I'll do just a few, uh, two more. Good. 
So I'll let these cook for about, uh, yeah, like I said, uh, Seven to ten, seven to ten minutes. They'll they'll float to the top, and they'll be all you know wobbly. <laughs> so they, they should they should they'll let you know that they're ready. Get a little clean up while I'm. Uh, I took my pilamini and um, I took them into the living room, sat down, and I put them all together. So because it, it takes a while, so. It's always good, you know, it's like a Russian tradition, you know, the family, especially during the holidays, the family get together and everyone pitches in and makes them, help make, make them. That's what I read. <laughs> but, you know, it sounds pretty good, nice uh, holiday tradition. We say holiday, um, I guess we say holiday, uh, well, we say hol holidays for our actual holidays, you know, important days, special days. And then when you want to take time off from work, we say vacation, but I think in some countries they say holiday means both. <laughs> so, um, uh, you know, everyone has their has their different traditions during uh, holiday time, Christmas, or especially New Year's. Everyone, every, just about everyone celebrates a New Year. But some, you know, obviously. Some people have a uh, uh, different, uh, you know, day uh, days of the year. The Chinese have theirs in February, for for instance. <sighs> so they're all shriveled. They look all shriveled. They're shriveling up already. <laughs> So we're going to put these, let me see, well we need to cool them off too, so I guess we'll cool them off in a plate. We'll put them on my plate and uh, let's see, and then we'll have some to eat. We'll put it in a bowl and that should be that. We'll, you know, we're going to cook them all and then we're going to... Put the ones that we don't cook, we're going to put them in a bag and put them in the refrigerator. And we'll probably have those tomorrow. And we'll have the, we'll, have, we'll get a nice batch of them and we'll cook, uh, we'll eat them tonight. Because <laughs> this time, it's time, it's time for something. I was going to fix my favorite Japanese bowl, katsu done, but I have, took, um, all the time was spent making the, Palomini, so Palomini. I'm looking too to make sure that the 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 uh, dough stays together and none of the <laughs> it doesn't pop open and the filling comes out. Uh oh, this one looks like it's, it's about to come up a little bit. Some of the bubbles are coming out. One is one's, one's floated to the top, <laughs> so it should be just about ready. The other ones are still down at the bottom. So one's at the top, and everyone's one, everyone's still at the bottom. The one in the on the side by itself is opening up, but it's still it's not opening up wide enough to uh, let the filling come out. But there's another one. <laughs> he just pops up to the top. That's cute. I'm ready. Here's another one. We got four at the top. Here's another one. <laughs> That's in there. Oh, there's another one. That's cool how they just float to the top like that. Oh, now the water is really boiling. Oh, there's a, that's the one that... Uh, the uh, seeping, the water seeping out a little bit. They smell, mm, they smell them too. They smell good. And there's another one. I think these are ready to go. About 9:22. Make sure they're all up at the top. 
So let me get my bowl. Let's get our bowl. Because since these are nice and hot now, I'm going to eat these right away. And some uh, uh, sour cream. And let's see, we have the parsley sour, sour cream. Everything's popping to the top. And then the other ones, like I said, we'll just uh, we'll cook those and then we'll put them, uh, let them, you know, set them out, let them cool, and then we'll put them in a bag and we'll eat those tomorrow. We have a lot of food tomorrow. I got pizza, pizza uh, wings. Uh, I'm gonna try to make squeeze in some uh, casadon, <laughs> and then we have pilami, pilami, uh some pilamini tomorrow as well. All right. So okay, this let me see. I think that other one came up to the top too. They look just about done. Let me make sure they're all at the top. Yeah. Uh oh, there's somebody down pointing at Yeah, somebody. Okay, 21 to about 9.22, but it's okay. Whew. Okay, let me see. Bring my camera over here. See, everybody's up at the top. <laughs> it looks pretty good. So we're just about ready to go. Okay, so let's grab these. There's one that almost popped open right there. Wow! Ooh. Hot! Okay. Let me see. Where's the one that's almost open? enough that's more than enough okay and then we'll drop in the other ones that water's hot <laughs> so that looks pretty good okay let's drop in let's get these other we get these others going here and then uh, we'll have some we'll, we'll have a few let's see I can't get them on the spoon. Okay, there's one. They like to stick together. <laughs> Probably didn't know what's gonna happen. They don't want to get in the hot water. Okay.
make sure I don't put my hand in there. Put the rest of these in there. Yeah, these things are coming, uh, they're sticking together. We'll put those in, we'll put the rest of these in after this, these are done. So let's take uh, some of our parsley. Oops. Take some of our cream. Put a little bit on top. On top, guys. <laughs> Everybody's sliding to the bottom. Okay. There you are. Okay, put this back. Make sure I put it back in the ice box. Put a little bit of parsley on top. Oops, there we go. Sorry. Okay, that's it. <laughs> this is my Palomini. Palomini, 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 Palomini. Not bad for the first time. I think. And the others in there. Nice and snug. Oops, my cable is shaking. Okay. So this have a this have a taste. Where's my fork? I wonder if well I don't have any white wine. Let's maybe have some red wine. How am I going to do this? Let's do it over here. This, I think, I'm thinking it's pretty hot too. Whoa. Yeah, this demon. I think we should wait until they cool off a little bit. Oh, and get some of the get rid of some of the water. Okay, I think they cooled off now. The other, my, the ones I just put in there are almost ready. <laughs> They're floating at the top. So let's try it. Hopefully they yeah, cooled off enough. I don't want them too hot. They're too hot and I don't want, I don't want to eat them. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Mmm. Okay. Mmm. -hmm. There we go. I was thinking, how is, how is the meat going to cook? <laughs> it tastes all right. Mmm. Okay. It looks okay. The meat's starting to come out. Mmm. Okay. Good. <laughs> bon appetit. Yeah, it's great. It's not all right. Mm. The dough is nice and soft. Mmm. It's a lot, of, a lot of effort that pays off. So, bon appetit. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, we'll see you the next time. <laughs> we'll have to think about what I'm going to I don't know. Maybe ribs. I don't know. We'll see. I'll surprise you. I don't know. Maybe Yeah, maybe I'll surprise you again. Okay.
We'll take care. Thanks for watching. Oops.